Hello guys on this windy Hello guys on this windy blustery day Here in North Carolina the wind is picking up the leaves are falling everywhere and uh, I have a review to do This is a first-hand look at the Kershaw Camp 10 knife that I got from Amazon it was $32 and uh, comes with a pretty sweet Kydex sheath and uh, it's got a little button here that you can wrap around button makes a little bit of noise but we're in the woods who cares there's a lot worse noises that you could hear in the woods so we are going to start off this review with the steel. The steel is a 65 mn Chinese carbon steel. Pretty sweet. Should do well in chopping. Should do well in uh, batoning. It should do well in making feather sticks uh, and just a all around general purpose camp knife. So the first thing that we are going to take a look at is chopping. All right, so first we're going to start with a sapling that's maybe an inch and a quarter in diameter. We'll clear off some of these briars. That's the last thing that I want to deal with is briars. So cut those and get them out of the way. Wow, what a quick chopper. That was awesome. It took very, very little time to cut through that sapling that was dead. That's some good dry wood. So, set that down. I won't go to the bottom of the tree. That takes very little effort to cut through. So, no no damage on the edge, still sharp. I used the belly of the blade for the majority of that cutting, but did an extremely good job. Let's go to a thicker diameter. All right, guys, here we have a piece of dead standing timber that is probably three inches thick. So we're gonna see how it does. Okay, up until this point, I am about halfway through the tree. Still sharp. Still looking good, so we'll keep going. I'm, I'm using the belly right here, doing the majority of the chopping. This is the thickest part of the blade. So that's where I want to hit. All right. I'm about three quarters of the way through. Still looking good. The handle after an extended period of chopping is a little uncomfortable to grip but if you put some tape on the handle I think that it would do 
a whole lot better. All right, we are almost, almost through. Let's see if we can get a little closer. A few more cuts and she'll be ready to come down. I think she's ready. There we go. Big tree down. Sweet. Oh yeah. Lots of mold. Now we will move on to batoning. All right, so here we have some wood that we are going to baton. It's a pretty dry piece of wood. And I have my baton here, so we'll see how she does. Butter. This is soft wood, dry wood. So we'll try a piece of the size. Wow, like it's, like it's nothing. That's awesome. Tiny little pieces. goes right through it. It's awesome. Sweet. All right, so our next test is going to be chopping a piece of wood. So now I'm up to about a little over half an inch and it's still cutting very, very well. It's a pretty big piece of wood, so we're gonna keep going. One swipe, one hit. Two hits. Wait. So guys, in a review, first impression. This Camp 10 is a workhorse. I, I, I like this knife. The only thing that I would not have minded to see is metal to the end of the tang. And also I will be putting some tape on this handle. It's got a good handle grip and this is not really a knife for extended period chopping, like the tree that I cut down that was over three inches thick. But I wanted to get a general idea of what this is capable of when it comes to chopping. So I hope that you enjoyed part one review of the Kershaw Camp 10. This again was $32 on Amazon and uh, got here in about three days. Very, very happy with it. Um, it was three days, yeah, three days. So that, that uh, 
pretty much sums it up for part one. So next, that's part one, chopping, batoning. Part two is going to be feather sticks, which will probably come out later on uh, this week. Um, I want to make sure that I find the best wood that I can for that so that I can give it a fair review. So I hope that you enjoyed this review. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you for jumping on board. Do me a favor, tell somebody about my channel. You know the deal. Keep those lines wet and tight. Live long, love hard. Catch fish. Peace.